Uh, join with me on the, the station. My name is Ryan Rapp, Director of Communications for Brownells. We have our Chairman Frank Brownell on the left. Uh, Pete Brownell is uh, our CEO, and Paul Levy will be uh, coming up here very shortly to tell you uh, all the uh, the details. But with that, I'll turn it over quickly for, to Pete for comments. Sure. Yes, good afternoon. You know, today's a historic day in our 79 history of Brownells. Okay, so 79 history of Brownells is kind of a historic day. We're known for our parts, we're known for our gunsmithing equipment, we're known for supplying all the people out there who want to do it yourself gunsmithing. This project started as a retro product addition, and just in the parts, the actions, the hand guards, the triggers. And it gained such popularity that, and such demand out there that we decided that for the first time ever in Brownells history to put it all together into a package for the industry and for the customers and for all those who remember those older days and their training to build a complete gun. So this is our debut, 79 years after we started to have our own Brownells AR-15. It's a retro AR-15 that goes back to the 1960s era. It's a reproduction framed M16 rifle, the 5.56, this is a civilian version. And we're glad to bring it out to you guys. This has been a huge demand for it. And now we've got it both in, in uh, finished and parts will be coming soon, back out on the market soon. But there is additional retro rifle we're bringing to the marketplace. There are two variants of the Eugene Stoner's original AR-10 style design, chambered in 308 and 7.62. We're going to be bringing this out to the marketplace. They're real cool. I've got uh, had my hands on the the samples. It's just like it was. Holy smokes, back when I was born. That's how old kind of retro we are here. So this is we're, we're bringing back history here. We're bringing back the nostalgia at a good price point, so you can all can enjoy it. It's something real proud to bring to the marketplace and just expect more of that kind of innovation from Brownells and the team of people and the partners we have out there who help bring this together. We had, that's one of the things we want to make sure everybody understands. We had some great partners in the industry, Aero Precision, Faxon, Nodex Bud. They helped us put all this together. These are people that know their business and we're bringing them all together to make sure that they can bring history into reality. And they certainly did. So we appreciate their time. I'd like to introduce Paul here. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Paul Levy. I'm the lead product manager at Brownells. Uh, we've got the AR-15 retro line today. And as you can see here, we have a few different models, uh, four AR-15s uh, to start with. Right here we've got this, the BRN-601. This is a uh, basically a reproduction of the Air Force Model 601. So we, we went through a lot of effort. Uh, Nodak Spud is a great partner. We've got Nodak Spud receivers to get the proper receivers uh, for customers. So slab side receiver. Uh, machined by our friends at Aero Precision. Uh, every rifle is test fired with 10 rounds. This particular rifle comes with a waffle magazine, uh, chrome bulk air group, you got your triangle charging handle, duckbill flash hider, 20 inch barrel. All the barrels are 1 in 12 twists, chrome line, uh, really nice barrels by Ballistic Advantage. Really high quality. And then next up, we basically go through history here. We've got the XBRN16E1. This is basically a clone of an XM16E1, so like 1964. This is a transitional model between the 601 and the M16A1. So this one right here has a partial fence. It's got the chrome bulk air group still, and has your classic, classic three-prong flash hider. Uh, small detail, all these rifles have split washers, no crush washers on these. Um, I should note, they also have our Brownells furniture. None of these guns have surplus parts. It's all new production components. And then moving right along, we have the M16A1 clone, the BRN16A1. Uh, so on this model, they went to the phosphate carrier. They've got the full fence lower, and then they've got the A1 style flash hider. Uh, again, all these rifles are built by Aero and uh, test fired extensively. And then to round out the AR-15 line, we have the XBRN-177E2, a clone of the XM-177E2. Uh, this is basically the Special Forces variant. Uh, shares a lot in common with your M16A1 on the receiver. And we have a pinned and welded uh, flash hider uh, slash moderator with the grenade ring. 12.7-inch uh, barrel, the pinned and welded flash hider gets you to that legal length. Uh, a few things on this one. 
it comes with the, of course, uh, collapsible buttstock, two position buffer tube, so only uh, open and collapsed. And you'll notice all these receivers, they're kind of grayish. We are not doing a matte black. Uh, we tried our best to get a matte gray finish on these. So that's the Brownells retro series of AR-15s. Uh, that's all we got. Now we got one more. We got uh, two more. So these are pretty exciting. So this is the BRN-10. So this is uh, as close as we could get to a reproduction of the original AR-10 uh, using uh, 308 DPMS uh, SR-25 pattern components. Uh, we partnered with FM Products to design the receiver bolt carrier, and you can see here we really, I think, did a good job replicating that original styling. Uh, we've got a flat bottom uh, lower receiver, so a magazine well. Take standard DPMS pattern metal magazines. You can see the bolt carrier has a flat slab side, and of course has the trigger style charge handle up top. So pretty neat right there. The rear sight is adjustable, just like the old ones. It's got uh, an A2 drum in it, adjusts for elevation, and is driftable for windage. Uh, uses our Brownells furniture. We're gonna have a uh, prototype or AR-10 style handguards. Uh, these handguards are pre-production, so uh, never mind that right there. Uh, our friends at Faxon are producing the barrels. Uh, this one right here is a 20 inch 308 Winchester 1 in 10 twist, uh, QPQ finish, and then they black oxide it to give a manganese phosphate type finish. This one right here has a fluted barrel. Uh, the entire rifle weighs nine pounds. So you're talking with a heavy barrel the same weight as an M14, uh, much less than a G3 and an FAL. So that's the BRM-10A. As I disappear here. Now this is the BRM-10B. Uh, this model right here has a lightweight barrel. As you notice, the black furniture. This is kind of designed uh, inspired by the later AR-10s, the Sudanese, uh, and the Cuban models. Uh, they share the same receivers and bolts, uh, lightweight barrel, and then it kind of has a Portuguese uh, style flash hider on it. And again, the trigger style charging handle, pretty cool. All the small components, uh, which FM products help design, uh, have the, uh, the, the styling of the original. So horizontal serrations, uh, the safety has the same horizontal serrations, as do the takedown pins and the magazine release. So that's the Brownell series of uh, retro rifles. Uh, these are prototypes, so when you handle them later at the show, keep that in mind. Uh, we are gonna be shipping these spring 2018. The AR-15s are on brownells.com right now. Uh, everyone can go out and purchase these uh, today. They're online and in stock. Thanks to the crew at Arrow uh, for helping us out there. So go buy your Brownells retro AR-15 today, uh, spring 2018 on the BRN-10. They're actually available for pre-order now as well. So, price point. That's yeah, it. Yeah, this guy, uh, I should say price point. Uh, price point on the AR-15s, $12.99.99 for every model. Uh, the BRM-10s, this model right here is $15.99. The BRM-10A is $16.99. So pretty nice, uh, much more affordable than I say a surplus AR-10. So that's the Brownell series, retro rifles. Yeah, good work. Thanks everyone. Perfect.